Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are working in a new room. This is my guest bedroom, and we're gonna do a makeover in here. It's mainly cosmetic, just paint, a little bit of molding, some paneling, and then it'll be completely refreshed and ready to go for the guests that I have coming in just a few weeks. Okay, here's the room. If you guys saw my upstairs home tour before, you saw this room. I've completely emptied everything out and I wanna talk about the plan. So I wanna paint everything. It's gonna be like a creamy white. I wanna do some kind of paneling or molding, maybe some beadboard on this wall. And then I want to switch out these closet doors but I'll get to that in just a minute. First, let's go ahead and prime this room. Okay, the priming is all done. And if you're wondering why like I didn't paint the lower half of this wall, if that's where the accent wall is gonna go, so there's no point in painting it because something's gonna go on top of it. And while we wait for all of the walls to dry before we put our color on, I want to replace these closet doors. Now I found these doors at like a Habitat for Humanity building supply store and I got two of them for $17. I was so excited. And the reason I'm switching them out is because this room is gonna be pretty sparse. Like it's a guest bedroom. I don't want a lot of decoration. So I want these doors to kind of be a focal point they're going to be painted in the same accent color as the accent wall and so I just thought these doors were a lot prettier. Okay, so obviously this is not going to work. I got these out of the 30 inch section and didn't measure them, just assumed they were in the right place. They were not, they're 28 inches, but I think I might have a solution. So in my other two bedrooms, my kids' rooms, I trimmed down their doors because I turned their doors into like French doors instead of these sliding doors. And I never throw anything away and I kept these pieces that I cut off. And so I'm thinking I can just nail them onto the sides of this. And it'll give this door some extra width and then they'll look right and there won't be this gap in the middle.
that is so much better there's no gap and once we get ready to paint everything in the accent color i'll go through and fill the little holes on the side and they'll be a really nice feature The painting is all done, except for down there, of course, but I've already talked about that. And what I want to do now is work on framing out the windows. We're going to do one big frame around these to kind of treat this window as if it, these two windows as if they were one. And then also this window right here. So we've got all of our wood for that the miter saw, and then the compressor, which hooks up to my nail gun, which is what we're gonna to use to shoot the boards into the wall. So the first thing that we're gonna do is demo these boards that are already here. Now we're gonna discard this bottom piece down here, but we're gonna save the windowsill because we're gonna use that as a template for our board that's gonna go across the top here. Okay, our windowsill is in. Now it's not perfect, we have some gaps, but that's okay because caulk will definitely make it look like it fits perfectly. So I intentionally left these sides long so I could get an exact width that I needed. So I'm using a scrap piece of one by four board. This is the material that's gonna go up the side of the window. So I'm using that and I'm gonna mark the how wide that is and then I'm going to trim this board to that width so it'll be perfectly square which will make things a whole lot easier when we go to make our cuts for our accent wall.
Okay, this is looking so good. This was definitely the right choice. We still need this piece right here. So I'm going to have to rip that down on the table saw because this is not a width that comes, like a board already comes. So I'm gonna have to take that measurement, rip it down on the table saw, and then shoot that middle board in. And of course, it's all different measurements. Houses are not going to be perfect. At the top here, it's six inches. Then in the middle, it's like six and a quarter. Then at the bottom, it's like five and a half. Totally different. So what I'm gonna do is cut it around six and a quarter, my biggest measurement. It's better that the board in front hides the drywall behind it than drywall be sticking out from behind that board. But if you're running into this problem in your projects in your house, it's not just you. Walls are not square, like it's never going to be perfect. You just kind of have to roll with it. When I went to go nail it in, that's when I realized that the board was warped. This is why it's important to buy straight boards. So I had to put some screws to make it sit flush against the wall, which causes this gap right here but there's a stud behind this wall. So I'm gonna show you how a screw versus a nail is really just gonna close that gap. Okay, that's one window down. We still have to caulk and fill nail holes and all that, but one more to go. Okay, all the framing is done for the windows. So now I wanna go through and like areas like this that needs to be caulked and fill those screw holes and the little holes from the nail gun. Okay, everything is all caulked and everything filled in and sanded, except for like the bigger spots like there and the screw holes on this board. And in the meantime, while that dries, I want to talk about paint color. I've got two colors, or I've looked at tons of colors, but I've got two colors that I think I've narrowed it down to. This first one is Accessible Beige by Sherwin-Williams. And the next one is a paint sample that I'm actually gonna have to paint and it's called Jogging Path and it's also by Sherwin-Williams. Here 
here they are, jogging path and accessible beige. Now I wanted to show you this view where it's up against the white and not this old gray because it's gonna make these colors look more brownish, more tannish. So the accessible beige definitely is more beigey where this is more kind of almost neutral, a little bit of green undertone. And I think I might know which one I'm leaning toward, but I wanna know what you guys think. Cause I really wanna get this color right cause it's going on all this trim. There's gonna be an accent wall. It's going on these doors behind me, the closet door. So they'll, there will be a lot of it. So let me know which one is your favorite or if you have any other suggestions for like neutral grayy colors. And this is where we're gonna stop for today's video. We've gotten a lot done in this room, but we still have lots more to do. Like I said, we have to paint all of the trim, the accent wall, the closet doors, and then we have to start moving all the furniture back in so I can get it out of my hallway. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure that you're subscribed because you do not wanna miss how this room turns out. Bye.